Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 15, Episode 5, Drama for Your Mama. Marlo still up to her shenanigans, banging on that lady's door outside in the people hallway. Just really keeping up the noise. Um... Sheree steps to the door. Can we just we just have a few a few questions? We just want to ask you a few questions. Can you say I'm calling the police if y'all don't get the from around my door? I'm calling the police. Mayetta, she really don't want nothing to do with this. Like she's like, I ain't know we was gonna do all this. I ain't got no parts. I don't want no parts of this. So she, she you know, she she and Marlo get into a a, a spar with words. <laughs> Marlo continuing to talk shit and all of that. And, Mar and Mayetta, she's really the only one to speak up against it because the rest of them are just like standing there like a deer in headlights. I don't know. I don't know. But um, they're walking through and, and it, it, Marlo, I mean, Marlo with Mayetta right behind Marlo. Marlo like slams the door back. It's one of them heavy doors that you can't slam. <laughs> so it did nothing. But Mayetta felt felt what she was, what she was putting down. And, um, you know, that. Angered her some more, but Mayetta say, you're not finna get me. <laughs> you're not finna get me out of my character. You not, you know, like, she want to go back to jail? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing this with this girl. She done with her. She done with her. They, they, they have that back and forth. Courtney goes outside because Marlo's basically running from Mayetta. She runs outside and, um, waits for them, waits for a drink because she ordered a drink at the bar and then runs outside. <laughs> Courtney's out there because she's thirsty, you know, so she going to go out there with her. They bring the girl drink outside and everything. When they come inside, of course, Marlo is trying to make herself the victim. Courtney's sitting over there enabling it, you know. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Just really coddling like Marlo needs some comforting. She needs to sit over there by herself with nobody sitting beside her enabling that bullshit. Anyway, Sonya. Um, she calls Marlo because, oh, um, they over there talking at the same time Mayetta gets Kenya on the phone and, you know, Kenya's like, I don't know why you was trying to fool up with that dang old Mar Marlo. That's why I was looking at you like you was crazy and rolling my eyes at you because I done told you she crazy. I told you she a snake. She cannot be trusted. Sheree is with Mayetta, so she's on the phone talking about, you know, I wasn't, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I ain't behind all that banging on the door. <laughs> it's like, oh, you not Produ production shows. That was a lot that we show and you running off girl. We saw you. <laughs> we saw you make it seem like it was the, the, everybody else. It wasn't you. Um, Kenya's like, you know what? At this point, I would rather if those other girls, those, those the ones that are not in my court group, I would rather they just leave. That's where I'm at with it. Sonya, she's sitting there. And so, you know, she's like, we just want to know the details about, you know, what's going on. Because I'm I'm leaving and I'm going to be driving back. Kenya's like, you know what, Sonya, girl, don't even come back. <laughs> it's fine. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's, with this whole situation, because I really don't feel like doing this back and forth that they had out there in, the, in, the, in this lobby. She basically sent Sonya home. It hurt her feelings, but she does go up there, pack her bag, and leave, and she's not going to return. Fine. <laughs> um, but when she gets up there, she calls Marlo. And, you know, now the three of them, Marlo, Courtney, and and um, Sonya commiserate over why they mad at Kenya, because why Kenya ain't telling us what's going on? Is that too much to ask? And I will say, when it comes to that, I'm in agreement. You know, you can at least tell the people why they're there. You done invited them to, to this homecoming. What are we doing? You know, you 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 done invite, you invite us to something and you say it's black tie and it's a gala and all that <laughs> charity event. And so we bring great gowns and we get there and it's not that. So we're just confused now. Do you have an itinerary? Like what's, what's, because <laughs> people have taken off their jobs, whatever they're doing, you know, move stuff around to be here. They can at least know what they're getting themselves into. And you want to surprise them with the, with your performance, you could have done that. You could have just said, we're going to homecoming, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're going to the game, blah, 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 snuck away and came out, bam, I'm performing. And, you know, it, the drama behind, where did Kenya go? Where's Kenya? <laughs> you know, like, we could have gotten all of that. Instead, you want to keep the people in the dark and think that they're, that they're going to roll with that because 
I think Sonya, Sonya mentioned, you know, how it was when in Jamaica, Kenya wanted to know to the T what's, what's happening. Why are you not checking in on us? Where you been off doing what you're doing? You're not calling in and seeing what's going on with us. You wanted all of that. And so you should have given the group that in return when it's your turn to plan something instead of leaving the people in the dark. So that's why they was banging at your door, girl. Now, should they have been banging at your door? Absolutely not. It could have been a phone call. All of that could have been a phone call. <laughs> I don't like, she could have told somebody. She could have told one of the people in her core friend group, you know, what was really going on so that they could have kept the rest of the girls at bay. Anyway, um, come to find out. So oh, Sonya does end up leaving. She ends up leaving. Um, Drew, we see, you know, when, once everybody is back, um, Drew is, we see that she's being discharged from the hospital. She spent the night in there. She does have the flu. Uh, this was pointless. Um, we see Candy and Todd meet. It's Todd Tucker TV time, although she ain't giving him any time. <laughs> He's sitting up there trying to talk to her about it. The name of the movie is going to be The Pass. It's about a couple who give each other a hall pass, you know. Um, Candy's on the phone while Todd is trying to talk details with her. And, you know, he's like, see, I can't get you to put the phone. And he's so nice about it. He's so nice about it, impatient. And she just, girl, listen, you're going to have to let up on that. If it's Todd, Tucker, TV time, put your phone down. Put your phone down. You don't want to say you etched out time, so what? Why are you on your phone while he's talking to you? <sighs> anyway, um, she talks, you know, about not being able to do Kenya's trip. She was like, I'm sorry, girl. I'm not missing getting my award for that. <laughs> no offense. <sighs> um, they talk about Mama Joyce, you know. She says she shares that Mama Joyce finally called her, but there was no mention of of her comments at BravoCon or anything like that. Ty says he feels like she's leaning into a character at this point. It's a joke, you know. She just wants to play up the whole monster in law um, role, and it gets ratings, it gets all of this attention, all this clout, blah 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 blah. She's just riding off that wave. Candy is like, um, whatever it is, you know, she's just gonna have to stop doing what she's doing. She's going to have to have a conversation with her mother. And we're, I mean, we've been saying this, but your conversations are always the same. They're going to have to be a little bit more. It's going to be, have to be a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. Um, back in Birmingham, Drew, she calls Courtney, you know, for an update on the trip. Marlo, we see she calls her life coach. <sighs> um, now she can kind of see where she was wrong. I don't know. Marlo is always doing this, always showing her ass. And in the very next day, I don't know what I, don't, I was drinking. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. And then be trying to walk up to you for a hug. It's like, girl, bad, bad. <laughs> Out of here. Anyway, Kenya, we see that she calls for an ambulance. Um, she's dizzy, can't breathe, shortness of breath, all of that. So something is really wrong. Sheree's room was not right next to her. So Sheree comes out there, you know, and sees that there's an ambulance. Um, she goes in the room and, you know, tries to check in on her herself. Then she calls all of the ladies to her room and shares what, what's going on. Mayetta already knew. <laughs> Mayetta already knew what was going on. Um, she's going to get a chest x-ray. And she just breaks down crying, Mayetta does, because it's triggering for her seeing Kenya like this. Her mother recently passed. I'm not, I don't know if it was COVID related or what. Kenya's just now, Kenya was just getting over COVID. And um, now she's dealing with this, but it broke my yetta down. My yetta like broke down, broke down. I was like, oh my goodness. Anyway, um, while they're, you know, discussing this now, like I said, Marlo, she can see, oh my God, let's pray. We're going to have to pray. Let's pray. Who's going to pray? She praying. Keep it, Marlo. Keep it. Keep your prayers. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> what? You of all people? Absolutely not. You're not praying over me. <laughs> nothing that concerns me. Because what you, I mean, she ain't do nothing but leave right from out of there 
talking shit like she always do. Like, girl, you want to now you want a hug from Mayetta. Mayetta was looking at her like, girl, you gonna have to respect me and stop trying to fight my friends. <laughs> Marlo always, I was drunk. I was, I don't even remember what happened with us. Oh my God. Come on, girl. Give me a hug. <laughs> She's a psycho. <laughs> anyway, um, my yeah, I shouldn't trust nothing that lady's saying. When they all, you know, um, pack up and head home because, you know, sure, I mean, I mean, Kenya's obviously ill and she's not going to do the show or anything like that. So they all going to head back. Um, Sheree says she got an update from Kenya's assistant. Um, Marlo talking about she got a different update. She was told that Kenya had already checked out, you know, so she was, cause she was trying to send flowers. <sighs> Whatever, girl. Um, Marlo wants to see what was rehearsed. You know, she wants to see, well, what was, what y'all was going to do? Mayetta gets up and gives her J sets for her life. Okay. Gives the full, the full field show. Um, and she, and she does it well. She does it well. Um, Mayetta was ready. She had on her, she had on her AK, her Alpha Kappa Alpha gear on. <laughs> she was ready to get down there to the homecoming. Short lived. I mean, it ain't, it ain't nobody's fault, you know, cause nobody could, nobody could, could anticipate Kenya falling ill, but damn, she didn't even get to get out there with her girls. <laughs> um, you know, things are, it's high energy. Everybody's getting along. And so Courtney asked Sheree when, when she's going to mend fences with Drew, with her, with her wonderful cousin. And she's like, I don't know about wonderful. She out there doing interviews talking about, I ain't let y'all keep nothing. And I, and I took everything back. And so we, we, we hear a clip of it and she absolutely said everything. <laughs> she absolutely said everything. Um, but so, you know, she, she got Drew on ice for those reasons. Everybody just heads on out. Um, and like I said, as soon as they get out there, Marlo, again, the first thing she says <laughs> is, you know, she ain't going to win once, once Kenya come back. My yet ain't going to be there. Basically, because when they were inside, the, the pact was, okay, from this day forward, we're keeping with the good energy, you know, regardless of who's in the room, you know. And they're trying to direct that at Mayetta like she flip-flops, like she's going to switch up on Marlo and them once Kenya's back around. And y'all praying and all of that, and then you get right outside and start backbiting. Anyway, Sonya and Courtney, they meet up. Um, they meet up, they're shopping. Sonya, you know, she felt, she felt like Kenya dismissed her. Her feelings was hurt a little bit. Um, she gonna have to talk to her about that. Sheree, she drops in on Kenya. Kenya, I mean, Sheree brought her a care package, you know, that she, now Kenya has the flu. So she was diagnosed with the flu. She's bummed. She didn't get to perform. She didn't, she didn't get to J set for her life. She pulled out her costume and everything. She was ready. Um, they talk about, excuse me, they talk about the trip. You know, Sheree's like, I can't defend Marlo banging on your door. Producers asked Sheree, but weren't you banging too? No, I wasn't. I'm a lady. Girl, let's run it back again. We run it back again. <laughs> At that reunion, she ain't gonna be able to back weasel her way out of it because we saw it. We saw it and we've seen it plenty of times. So one, by the time we get to the reunion, you better be telling the truth, Sheree. <laughs> or being accountable for, you know, playing along. Um Brooklyn comes in there, you know, so that's a, that's a, that's a, a, a refresher. <laughs> you know, it's, it's always nice to see the kids. She just got back from karate, you know, so she do a little, a little bit for the, <laughs> for the class, for the cameras, you know, and they sent her on her way. Um, Kenya's, you know, like I, we, we talking about my health, but how's your health? You know, she knows she's been dealing with the fibroids. Sheree doesn't really want to go into the knife because she can't have sex and, you know, within six, you know, for six weeks. So that's a problem for her because I guess Sheree is just really getting all the sex. I don't believe it. <laughs> anyway, she shares, you know, a little bit more about the fibroids. Kenya has also had them and has had a few surgeries, um, but Sheree would rather have them dissolved. Um, <laughs> she going to pull a prank on Kenya talking about some, you know, I just... You know, I'm expecting right. Can you say, shut up, for real? <laughs> no, girl. 
Who they get a good laugh? They get a good laugh. And so, as did I. As did I. Mama Joyce drops in on Candy. It's very awkward, that awkward small talk. Because Mama Joyce knows she in the hot seat. Um, but they need to dive in. They need to dive in. Mama Joyce thinks that Todd needs to lighten up. He, well, he needs to just lighten up. No, you need to cut it out. You need to cut it out. Um, she don't accept responsibility for anything. Everything's Todd's fault. Todd's the one that needs to adjust. When I met him, he was so meek and mild. And now he's like George Jefferson. What, lady? What are you saying? <laughs> and then Kenya does that round, you know, round and around. Well, mama, mama, you need to stop, mama. Mama, stop disrespecting my husband, mama. Well, mama, the conversation should be mama. The very next time you say anything negatively about my spouse on a platform, wherever, you will no longer be welcome in this home. I will not subject my husband to your disrespect <laughs> and have him uncomfortable at home where he pay the bills because you want to create sound bites to go viral. It's like, girl, what? We're done with that. <laughs> you know, like there should be some cutting off at say, you know, of some of some sort, like some a boundary needs to be set. And you're not setting it, Candy. You just continuously keep telling her, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Mama, it's not cool to distract my husband. Mama. But, but think about your grand. Don't you love your grandkids, Mama? Do she? Because if she did, she would never. I want Ace to grow up learning to take the trash out. He don't even take the trash out. Girl, is it your household? Now, Todd, you need to be taking that damn trash out. <laughs> you need to be taking the trash out. Don't be above taking your own trash out. Okay, Todd? Thank you very much. <laughs> Who taking the trash out then? If he ain't doing it, probably an assistant or something. I mean, let's shit. Get it how you live. <laughs> um, Mama don't get it. She don't get it. She ain't gonna stop. I, I mean, I guess, you, what, you tried? <laughs> I guess you tried, Candy. You're going to have to try harder. You're going to have to try harder because, child, please. She's talking about Candy, talking about some. Because she said, oh, I guess if you want your man in the strip club, you want your man to not take out the trash. And Candy said, well, what's your man do? <laughs> what's your man do? Well, when I, when I get one. Exactly. So stop talking about my man. Stop coming for my man. We're going on nine years married. We done with that. Joy's face was cracked. <laughs> like you can see it all over. <laughs> Who Candy suggests they go to counseling? I don't know how good. That, I mean, maybe. Hey, that's a good spinoff. <laughs> that's a good spinoff. Though I know you know Candy be setting herself up for a spinoff for a Candy and the Gang spinoff, and we're always here for it every single time. Um. Anyway, Kenya, she meets up with Sheree and Drew for a vitamin drip. Um. Drew gets there. All Sheree got for is a high five, you know, because they have to rehash all this stuff. Sheree shares what she heard Drew say, you know, in that interview. Drew, I mean, Drew denies it. I didn't say everything, did I? You said everything. She really wanted this bag. Sheree said the bag wasn't supposed to go out on the cart. <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't of the things that 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 she um, was giving away. It wasn't one of the things you was going to get in the gift box. I guess it just was a t-shirt. I mean, you, you could have gave him a t-shirt, a water bottle. You could have gave him a little, you know, you could have set him up. Anyway, um, they squashed that, you know. I guess it was just a misunderstanding. Kenya moves on to the trip to Birmingham and how Marlo was uh, once again at the center of all the mess. Drew, she shares what really happened between her and Marlo at Candace's show, after Candace's show. Um, Drew said, I'm just confused about how her nephew's murder had anything to do with Candy. And <laughs> Sheree tries to explain, well, it was her, it was her nephew that worked with somebody that did that, that, that. I guess the roommate, no, 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 no. It don't have nothing to do with Candy. <laughs> Kenya changes the subject to Courtney, you know. Um, Kenya asks if Drew, um, if if Drew gave Courtney her number, Drew is like, I ain't give her give her your number. Somebody did. <laughs> she out inviting everybody somewhere. She invited them um, 
all she sent them all an invitation to like this this team building exercise i guess she gonna have an event at her house and she's invited all the ladies um Sheree fills Kenya in on the pack, you know, to keep things peaceful and, and high vibrations from here on out. Then we see three days ago, you know, where we got this all understood. And then we go three days from that <laughs> when Candy is about to whoop off in Marlo's ass. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's the, it's the inner, well, where were they at? The intercontinental Um, when they, when it was the, it was the pajama party. It's that all over again. Can Candy about to drag her in this bitch? <laughs> they really giving Candy the the poor the, the I mean not the poor but the the bad edit. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm trying to make her look like she's just so unhinged and violent and everything surrounding her is violent and 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 no, y'all ain't about to do it. Y'all we not doing that. We not doing it anyway. That's where it ends. Until next time. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light.